Hey guys, how are you? Hope everybody's doing great. Let me go this one. I just had a hot flash, so I'm like a little red. Sorry about that. Um, let me make sure that I'm on. I hope everybody's having a great night. Third time's a charm. I have to refresh over and over again. And there we have it. Let me make sure that the sound works, which means I have to turn on my sound. Just have a hot flash. Okay, so um, say hello if you're on. I just thought I'd show you a new painting I just created. I'm excited about it. It was a lot of fun. And I've been trying to create, I literally woke up about an hour and a half after I went to sleep with this painting in my head. So in the morning, um, right away I said to Lindsay Lou, I'm like, I have to paint this first thing. The day was so crazy that I painted it in pieces, which I don't like to do. I like to paint something all together. So, um, I finally finished it. So say hello if you're on. Let me refresh one more time. I see people are on, but I don't see who. Hey Susan, how are you? Hey Gretchen, how are you guys doing? Thanks for jumping on. I hope you're having a great night. Um, I've been working from my home office tonight. Hopefully the dogs are not barking. They're barking today while I was doing stuff too. Um, so many deliveries this time of year. So we have like half of our stuff delivered here, not half, some of it, and the rest over the studio just because sometimes some trucks come really early. But it's been a crazy day. Hi, Joanne, I had a great day. Hey, Paula, how are you? How's your day, Joanne? I hope you're having a good day. So this is it, I wanna show you. I'm gonna show you our new guy on the sled. Remember the woods I was teaching you guys last Tuesday, or I guess that was Monday, it was day before Technique Tuesday. Um, so I did that just in our blue steels that we use. I use blue steel a lot in my winter colors, um, a Lucas paint. And so um, I loved painting him. I actually created him on a white canvas, but I'm gonna teach it to you on a black canvas. So I'm gonna re-record it on black because I was blackening a lot of things out anyway. So um, I'm gonna re-record it. And those in our HQ membership, um, you know you're guaranteed all the gnomes, so you'll get the gnomes. Ah, oh, Lisa, hi, I'm so glad you love him. Hey Dana, how are you? How are you doing? You doing okay? My day was good, that is awesome. Love this painting, thank you so much. The only thing that I see about this, and when I repaint it, I'm gonna do this. This needs moved down about one inch. Um, the placement of it needs to come down one inch. I had the sled a little bit longer, but then I thought, uh, oh, they're like, gnomes are like short. So I want to make the sled like a little shorter. So I want this down a little further. So I don't know if you can see, like I glittered the snow, like it's all glittered. So I don't know if you can see that. And then I glittered these trees like up here in the corners as well. So I glittered those. I always hold this wrong on the iPad. So you can see that up close. But yeah, we have the glitter in there. But I I loved painting him. So I can't wait to teach him. Um, nice and easy. Oh, thank you so much, Wanda. I appreciate it. I love it so much. I tell, hey, Lynn, how are you? Doing okay. Later, Dad, to rest at one today on our way home as we speak. Dana, you have my deepest sympathy. We've been praying for you, Lindsay and I, and I know a lot of our members are praying for you too. So um, you have my deepest sympathy. I can't imagine. Um, how heartbreaking. You'll be safe on your way home too. Um, hi, Jerry from Pudoc, Kentucky. Did I say that right? Pudoc. Ka, Pudica, Kentucky. He's so cute. Thank you so much. Linda, how are you? Now you have to paint a whole bunch of these at one time. She made small paintings of all the, like, the gnomes and m multiple paintings and puts them into stocking stuffers. I love it. I'm so glad you love him. Uh, I'm so glad you guys like him. That makes me so happy. So I'm going to film them for you. You'll have them within a week or two. Uh, Susan Lindsay Lou can get to it too. Um, so I'll try to film him within the week, but a lot, a lot of fun. It'll be so much quicker on a black canvas. I think it'd be probably about an hour and a half on a black canvas for, um, for everybody or for if you're teaching a class, maybe closer to two, I don't know, one hour and 45 minutes. Um, oh, oh I'm so glad. Oh, poor Dana. So, um, 
so also I if you guys didn't see I did this last night I just I bought a bunch of these canvas boxes in all different sizes thinking I'll jump on and show you guys I put glitter on that too just on the outside part of it so uh, I have to touch up I think I have a little paint on that side so I am going to do a giveaway every time I paint one of these this week and so um, hi Stacy I'm so glad you love them hey Kim I'm glad you like them um, so I am going to do a giveaway with this one and there is a post that says ornament tutorial on wood canvas. So, um, you can, the full tutorials on there. Um, I did this last night, like at 11 o'clock, so I don't want to post it so late. So I just uploaded it to searchy. Um, I was going to come on live and I was like, ah, it's pretty late. So I just filmed it. But, um, so you guys can make this if you want and you could do this on, um, upside down now you can do this on um, canvas slate wood whatever you like but this is one of those wood canvases and so it could be like um, a shelf sitter as well so I was gonna make a few of these and see if you guys like them today I'm gonna do a snowman I sent you my travel plans via email today I hope it's sent to the right email address Lindsay Lou is going to have to check that. She gets all those first and then she forwards anything that, um, thanks so much, Lynn. You can enter to win this by putting your favorite Christmas, favorite thing about Christmas in the post below this post. So if you guys want to enter to win this, we're going to pick it in the next day or so. Just random. Um, let us know what you love about Christmas the most. Okay. And, um, you have to watch the video. Yeah, you can make it for sure. Um, Linda, I will check. I'm going to make a note of it because I have lots of notes today and I don't want to forget because we want to see you. Can't wait to meet you for sure. And I was so glad to put like your face with your, with your name and talk to you all the time whenever you got the apron, your case cape, and I love that picture. So, um, I love the shelf sitters. Oh, good. Yay. So we're going to make another one right now. If you guys want to watch and then you can paint it later if you wanted to. Um, I don't have anything like sketched out. I just have a few things in my head. Um, some things we went over so I can go over them again, uh, that we went over in the membership. Okay. I don't know if Lindsay Lou is on in order to handle, um, uh, messages for me, but, um, she may or may not be. Hey Lori, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Shelf sitters are so much fun. Listen, I don't know if I've done one for years and years, so I was excited to paint them, but I'm going to give them all away. I'm going to ship them in the mail. Um, I love the small ones for the shelf. Uh, how are you doing, Gretchen? You having a good day? So for those of you who just jumped on, this is our latest gnome. All of you in HQ membership are going to get it. Those of you that are not, we'll put it in the store for you too, in the virtual tutorial store. But he's going to be fun. And there's those trees I was just teaching you guys last week. Very, very simple and easy. So, and this is that steel blue color. Guys, if you don't have the steel blue color from Lucas, it's a Lucas paint. It's right here. Um, if you don't have this, I always hold the wrong place. Um, all you have to do is mix a little ultramarine blue, a little bit of black, and a little bit of white, and you're going to get the same color. So you don't have to have this, okay? Um, if you don't have ultramarine blue, any dark blue, phalo blue, you can try that. A little bit of black, a little bit of white. Just started doing eight by eight like the smaller ones too. I have to tell you, like I usually do bigger paintings and so I was surprised how much I like to do the little ones. I got a little carried away. I did, um, you know, I can't do things stooped over because my spinal cord injury and I thought, oh, I'm not going to paint it for very long. And so put it flat down on my desk because it was crippled because I did it for like 50 minutes. And uh, so this one I'm going to throw on my easel. Uh, so don't do that again. Uh, painted the winter tree sign today. Oh, how exciting. I want to see it. I definitely am going to jump in the group and I'll look at it when I'm done. Hopefully you posted it. Uh, can't wait to see it. Um, so guys, keep painting. You're doing such a great job. Kim, family traditions, but most of our little family is always together. Oh, that's so wonderful. We'll make sure you're entered too. For sure. Thanks, Kim. And so I'm going to put this down so I don't get any paint on it. I'm going to go to my easel. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. What I did was I took a whole bunch of these. So I have like all different sizes. If you look on that desk over there, it has boxes of these and all different sizes. I bought small ones, bigger ones. This is a six by six. Um, this one I painted like just streaky, like um, this is green earth, which is like a Viridian black together with black. This one I painted like a really dark blue with some black. So I did them all different colors. I'm trying to think which one do I want 
So what I'm gonna do, I think, is put some small birches on. Maybe that Believe Snowman that we always have. Um, listen to this, right before we started. I actually couldn't believe this. We, we, deal, we do deal with copyright stuff a lot. Oh, I can't even show you because it's on my phone. My phone's hooked to my easel. Someone put our, uh, our snowman with the cardinal with the top hat that's on wood, put it on a shirt, and it's like all over. Uh, Christy just sent it to me. The last thing we saw was all, all of our gnomes were like diamond art for companies in China. I'm like, oh, what is happening to the world? Like, and it literally is copied, like not even remade. <laughs> it's copied. I'm like, just sent to me right before we started. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, can you hold it up again? I just got on and missed it. Sure thing. How are you, Trace? How are you doing? Um, did I get them on Amazon? I did. If you guys want us to put some links on afterwards, but I think I just put on, put in wood canvas and that's how I found them. Trace, what do you think? Do you like it? I know you love the gnomes, so I hope you like them. And what I'm going to do is when we resketch them out, I'm going to bring them down about an inch, not even an inch, probably about here. I feel like the placement's a little off. So I want it down just a little bit, okay? And these are the trees that you learned before, Trace, too. So I hope you like it. I know there's um, to dry, not try. <laughs> I, I missed something, I'm sorry. Um, oh, you're waiting for it to dry. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, Trace, yay. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna go to my easel. I just threw like some paints on here. Um, some snowman colors, some of that um, blue steel. I have some gold. Put some cerulean blue. I'm not sure if I'll put that in some of the snow or not. I have Van Dyke brown, raw sienna, some black, red, orange, okay? I'm thinking about putting some cardinals in the birch trees. So I'm gonna go over here to my, to my easel, okay? So I'm gonna go here. And then again, I just, I think I'm gonna turn this this way because the grain is this way and I'm gonna put birches in. So I can take my chalk pencil and I always talk about these chalk pencils. I love them because I've tried a million different chalk pencils because all the canvases that we do draw. This comes off very nicely, wipes off very nicely. Um, and they take a little while to get in, but they come um, from Amazon. So we get those on Amazon. So what my thoughts were is we have this belief snow baby. He's, we have his cousin that we made. Um, and he's showing up and things. And so I'm thinking we're, we're gonna put our belief snowman in here because he's cute. I think he'll be cutesy for like a smaller painting like this. So I don't know if this sound is gonna drive you crazy on this canvas. So we're gonna put his head here. Of course my dog is eating while we're, sorry about that. Make him a little bit chunkier. So I'm thinking also like we're gonna have some birches through here. Okay, so I have some birches, I'm gonna draw those. Birches are kind of like, um, they're almost the same width, like they get a little bit bigger as they go down, but not as much as some other trees, okay? We can put some very light, um, loose ones back here in the background and give the impression of like some other, you know, trees back here as well, okay? So we would have like some brown here. All right, and then I think I'm gonna put another here. We like our birches, right? You guys like birch trees? So my thought is, is to have like a cardinal up in the tree maybe that he's looking at. What do you think about that? To do that, all right? And so he could be even pointing up to the tree. So this could be a side view of him or reaching up to the bird, something like that. And then he could have his nose like here. And then he could have an eye there. Okay, so I'm thinking something like that. Okay, and then maybe we'll have some smaller trees back here. So, and then there would be ground under these ones. Well, I might actually bring this one down here and maybe crisscross a few small things in the background here, okay? So it's just gonna be, gonna be in the woods okay so generally if I was doing this um, on my own and not for a class I would probably paint one in you know I wouldn't I don't know if I draw the loose impressionistic ones in the background first I get an idea um, with the bigger ones first okay so what we'll do is I'm actually gonna start on the birch trees because um, because they need to dry kind of in layers all right 
Um, I'll go back every few minutes and take a look at, I have no water. Do I have no water cup here? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to jump up and get a water cup. So as Lindsay says, she always goes, she's gone. Let me see here. Hey, Connie, Zach, how are you? I finished the Scooby-Doo diamond art painting tonight. I could have painted five paintings in the same length of time. Now to do some ornaments. Hey, Pat, how are you? I can only see the last five comments. I'm sorry. Let me grab a cup of water of all things. I need water. Good job, Bailey. Okay, so I had the water sitting on my sink. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use like a half an inch flat, okay? Half inch flat brush. You can use an angle brush if you want also. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start layering this up. I love birch trees too, Trish, how are you doing? Um, thanks for jumping on. So I'm gonna pull my white off to the side, okay? I have one of these brushes really frayed on the side, so I wanna make sure that's not the brush that I got. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start coming down the side and I'm gonna pull over, okay? And I'm not gonna start and stop at the same point throughout the tree, okay? This is a layering process also. You're not gonna get you know, the brightness in some areas that you want right away, but this is like a scuffing process. We're not gonna do all the, the limbs off the trunk just yet, okay? Now the ones that are further back that we're going to put in, we won't um, use as much white. We'll use um, more gray back there because they'll have less color as you go back. Okay, let me make sure you can see this. All right, so this is pretty much dry brushing, not a lot of paint. Yeah, it's funny, I, I always think that's just crazy with that stuff online where when they're selling like different items that they copy your thing like down to a T, like they don't even change it. You know, they take your initials off of it. <laughs> it's just nuts. Lindsay and I have to remember to keep putting our watermark bigger on things, I think. But I wanna leave a little bit of black in through there, okay? So I'm gonna do some bigger ones first. I feel like on this side I might want another, <laughs> Maybe not. I'll go here. I kind of like things in threes. I don't know if anybody else is like that. I like odd numbers. I don't know why. So like I would want like three. If you look at my paintings, most, <laughs> most things are in threes or fives or something like that. I don't know, it sounds crazy. Now when you're painting on wood like this, it's a little drier, you know, tiny bit drier. Now, what really starts making these is when you come back and you decide to brighten areas and keep some areas darker. So there's a process. We always tell people like, trust the process. Like you're not going to make it look perfect like in the first, you know, so many minutes that you're working on a painting. And so just trust us, like we'll get you there. We're painting. You know, sometimes with this, when you're dry brushing on wood, it takes a little bit more time to build up for the fact that, you know, it's a drier surface. And I'll come back um, and work on these. So I'm just getting the first coat on. Doing great, I just joined Painting of the Month and loving it. Oh, I'm so glad, welcome, we're glad to have you. Um, is there anything you can do when they copy like that? Yeah, hi Jan, how are you? I've missed you, I hope you're doing good. Um, yeah, so we will, for that, we will send like a cease and desist letter um, and go from there. But I, you know, I just, I don't want to fight people. I just really want them to take it down if they're, you know, especially if it's an identical thing like that, it's just crazy. Um, and that's it, that happened all over Amazon with our with our um, with our gnomes. Um, they made a Chinese company made our gnomes into diamond art, and we're selling them on there. We should have ordered one, <laughs> but it literally took. And I actually think some still might be on there, but it took months and months of fighting Amazon to get them down. Like Amazon told us, every single time they would take them down. And then they didn't. Um, and so they, they kept saying they were waiting for a reply for the company. In the meantime, the company kept putting more and more up. Um, it was just crazy. How I don't even know how many they sold because I, it took months to get them down. But most times, like we just had a big paint company that's a franchise. Um, 
you know, put up our Bob Ross gnome identical, you know, I was like, listen, there's nothing on the market like that. Like, n you, like nothing. And like, you have to take it down. And they, they did, you know, um, what I do is just send an email titled copyright infringement, um, when that happens. And I don't like to get our attorney or anything involved in those things. Um, most people are pretty good about it, you know, um, to take things down, but, um, I'm always shocked that when someone copies things identically, you know, like actually takes the same picture and uses it. It's shocking. Okay, so I'm just dry brushing this down. We'll put some of this like barky look back in here too. Don't think that you have to, um, don't think that you have to leave your black perfectly. We'll, we'll put some of that barky look in, you know, again later. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a little bit of gray now, all right? And I'm gonna get like a couple of these little ones. That's actually too, it's too bright even. Okay, I'm gonna get a little charcoal gray, okay? And I'm gonna make it look like there's some trees back here in the distance, okay? I'm just going to get a tiny bit of water since we're working on wood. We go far and also I will make it so they're like um, going in different directions when I'm trying to make the woods look like a little bit more dense so I will um, you know put some in an angle as well okay so this one right here I'm actually gonna have to do the scuffing too okay because it's a little bit wider I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna do the same thing coming down here and this is a process, guys, like there's a couple steps to this. So you're gonna do this and then you're gonna brighten some areas as well. And then we also put our black back in and we also um, add some gold to it. We get to add some limbs to it. Like there's a process. Our girls had a fun, busy evening. We've been working with the Grove City YMCA swim teams for about five years now. And so there was that event tonight. I also off-site at a church tonight and have some things in the studio tonight. So it's busy. And then we have, the studio is kind of crazy busy. Our Rebecca is doing like an incredibly amazing job too. Like we, I think we had, I don't know if I'm wrong, 13 or $14,000 worth of fundraiser kits sold this week. And so she's so busy. I'm just gonna scuff a little bit of ground right there. Um, and she heads that up and she's crazy busy in there. So I'm going to make a little bit darker one over here. Yeah, everything's surrounding the kits right now back there. So I'm going to put one kind of like behind him maybe. Maybe not the best idea to put it around his nose. Um, hindsight's 20, 20. Um, but I'll put some more woods back here so it's okay. I like to teach techniques that every single person can do, like very simple things to build your paintings. Very simple. And even if you're a brand new painter, you can paint every one of our paintings. They're in our vault, like, and there's a lot. <laughs> you can paint all of them. Um, I'm gonna scuff some more woods back through here. It's nighttime. He's like in a little bit of a clearing. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. And then, okay, so we're okay. Oh, thanks, Susan. Sadly, illegal copying happens too much. It does happen all the time, you're right. Um, yeah, it does happen on Etsy too. And Lindsay said email was sent. Lindsay's on it. She's on it. She's my girl. My husband was downstairs sending one too. I'm sure Chrissy said one too because she was the first one who found it. She was like, uh, isn't this your exact snowman? I was like, yes, it is. Crazy. So I'm just putting some things up here too. I don't want to leave it just black. Okay. So get that in. This is just chalk, okay? But what I'm also going to do before I build up the color on those, I'm gonna get some of my blue steel, maybe a little bit of white, and I'm gonna put on a little bit of a foreground here also. So I'm gonna go 
like maybe here. Definitely a lot drier painting on the wood, that's for sure. So I'll probably even put a little bit of, um, I hear Buddy snoring in there, Lindsay. Now he's snoring in the other room. My little buddy, he's like snoring all the time now. No, he's in here, Lynn, so I thought he went out of the room. Okay, so I'm just like scuffing this, and then I'll get some highlights on there, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of white on there too. Maybe it's snowing. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull this down. And I'm gonna give this away too. So Lindsay, what can we say for the giveaway? What should someone write in here? We're gonna give away, uh, this one's a six by six. I'm gonna ship everything out at one time, like uh, maybe within a week. And um, move that just a little bit. And um, so let's see, what could be the question, Lindsay Lou? If you don't have a black canvas, you can put two coats of black gesso on a white canvas, but Hobby Lobby and Michaels both carry black canvases. That is right. Um, so if you need them in bulk, Susan, you can get them at Jerry's Artorama or Michaels Pro um, also. So, and that's just Michaels site, but they have a business. Um, they have like, for business people, they have the Pro, you can buy it in bulk. And these I just bought and they were just like, you know, wood. And, um, whoops, I don't want that to get too bright right there. I'm gonna get some black and dull that down right there. Um, but this was just a wood, you know, canvas that was just plain um, wood. Just plain wood. <laughs> like plywood, probably. Okay, blended that out just a little bit. All right, I'm not going to, um, I'm gonna move this up slightly so it doesn't look so tilted. Hold on a second, I'm gonna move up my camera a little bit. So I'm keeping this on the edge. One more time, I'm gonna move it up one more time. Okay, there we go, I think that's better height. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is dry off my brush again. I didn't put in my water yet. Um, now I talk about with paints, guys, you don't have to buy our paints. And what you need to do though, if you have craft paints or a thinner paint, oh, thanks so much, Karen, I'm so glad. Your favorite Christmas decoration. That's great, okay guys. So put in what is your favorite type of Christmas decoration, what you love the most, whether it has to do with bulbs, wreaths, whatever you want, lights outside, I think that's perfect. Thank you so much, Stacey, you're awesome. She did say that that was the question should have been this morning. Um, can you post a link for the canvases? I was looking at some today on Amazon. Lindsay Lou, can you post a link for the black canvases? The wooden ones, yes. So guys, so you can enter to win this one by um, putting in your fa favorite Christmas ornament, okay? So guys, when I go back and you have just solid white, no water at all this time, I'm gonna make some areas a little bit brighter than others, okay? So I'm gonna brighten up um, some areas, okay? Uh, if you have a little OCD, do not make a pattern. It happens, like you'll see if somebody's using a half inch brush, you'll see half inch swipes the whole way down, like half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch. Don't do that, okay? Um, step back and look at it and you'll realize if you're doing that or not, okay? Um, if you have a tendency to make patterns, definitely um, try not to. We're gonna come back though and break it up with black so you're not doomed if you're making a pattern, so it's okay. You'll be shocked how nice and easy these come together. Okay, but just try in the first place, save yourself a little bit of work by not making the pattern, okay? So I'm gonna go over here and I am going to do the same thing on these ones. Sorry, I have to tilt this. I promised myself I wouldn't stoop today. <laughs> You guys too, while I'm painting, you should post some of your um, your paintings you've been working on this week. It doesn't have to be one of our paintings. You can post them in the comments. We'd love to see it. Just covered up my black mark that I like there. 
Um, so if you'd love to, we'd love to see what you're working on. Um, and also, we, um, we'd we love to hear your thoughts of things you'd like to see, especially um, our people, like we do a lot of snow paintings here in the north, but also we know we have like, I would say more than half our members are in the south too. Um, so things that you would like to see um, in the winter time, painting wise, let us know. I'm always looking to add to my inspiration list. So we would love to know what you want to see, okay? So with wood, you're just going to have to like get your feel to figure out like how much paint you have on your brush. So this is a little bit different than working on a canvas, it's just a little drier, you know? So sometimes I do go back and I put white on it one more time. These ones in the back, I don't, I'm not gonna touch them too much. Maybe a little bit here and there, like a little scuff here and there, but I'm not gonna touch them too much. Maybe put a little highlight on them here and there. Maybe a little bit of light would be hitting here. Just a little scuffing. It's called dry brushing. If you haven't dry brushed before, do that in several paintings. So I might just touch one more time and then we'll put on some limbs before we, uh, well, actually we'll put on our little black areas and then we'll put on some limbs. And this is with a thicker white and it's a little bit more, okay? But anyways, if you're using your, you're using craft paints for your paintings and that's totally fine. There's beautiful colors, totally fine to use. You know, a lot of times we're watering down paint a lot anyway, but you do want a thicker white paint. I believe I started talking about that earlier, but you want a thicker white paint um, at least. There's a lot of times we're using like chunky white paint, like right now. Um, so I would say at least get like a bottle of thicker, like Creative Inspirations, Lucas, something like that. That's a little bit, um, a little bit thicker. Okay. Okay. So before I do any limbs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a round brush. Okay. So you can get a round brush with a small point. Actually, I'm going to get one like this. Okay. So this is a, this is a round long brush. It's very close to like a detail brush. Okay. And I like to use that as well, but I think I'm going to use this one right now. I have a little ceramic Santa mug. For my, oh, I love hearing all this. You guys are awesome. Oh, I'm so glad, Dana. That's awesome. Uh, I missed what was a fantastic idea, Lindsay. I, we have to read through later. I will. Okay, so I'm going to get black. I'm going to get my small round brush. It just has a point on the top, okay? And I'll pull it off to the side. You guys are the best. You know, I have to tell you. Like, I love um, getting on with you guys and talking with you. Okay, so I try to use what's organically there sometimes, okay? But I kind of make like little barky marks. I don't know if I care for that one. I'm just trying to make one go up a little bit further. Um, I can make some little darker ones, okay? And sometimes you have the ones that look like almost like an eye like that. Um, but if you lost all your black, which happens too, we've done a lot of classes with birch trees and people lose their black, you can always just put it back in like this. Even though I leave black, I still go back and I put these, you know, I put these marks in, you know, and sometimes there's just like little, you know, peeling pieces underneath here too, like that. But I just go through and make some of these a little bit more prominent. Like I would go here and maybe pull here. That's why you want a little bit smaller of a brush to do this. You might have, you know, some coming off the side here. Just wiggle it a little bit. So it's a little messy. It's not perfect. And so see where those are naturally darker in there? I'm just gonna kind of like go on those a little bit, okay? And it doesn't also don't make pattern. 
<laughs> I was going to say it doesn't have to be everywhere, okay? So I'm going to start with that. This one's in the back will do a little, but again, it's like further away. You're not going to see as much detail. So I'm going to pull this over. Maybe make this nice, you know, this one here. That little crack there. Might make that one there. So I try to look for like what's underneath, like where I've, you know, looking at my scuffs, like where it's just automatically a little bit darker. So there's already shadows there. I kind of like to see that, you know, I like to see like right here, I go and look for those. But then sometimes I just put in these, you know, these peeled pieces like that. Sometimes I just put a couple of like little dashes like that very lightly. And what I really love this is once the branches are in, you know, we'll put the branches in. I'm going to show you how to put those in with a script liner brush. If you have to clean up, like those are mainly chalk lines that are outside of here, but if you have to clean those up, you can just take your black and do that as well. Okay. So I'm going to go up here. I'm trying on purpose not to make like perfect marks on the tree. Like I don't want perfect circles. Um, here it looks like there'd be a knot under here. Pull that over. Yeah, like that. Okay. So then back through here, you might want to just, you know, if you don't have any black left, that's when you can go through and just make some marks in there. It's a few, but I don't want to, um, I don't want my eye to draw to this at all. It's actually two. There we go. Um, that was too dark. I was making a pattern. So I'm just going to like kind of scratch in these just a little bit just to break them up. Okay, maybe scratch in this so just a little bit. Okay, tiny bit. Okay, and then I'm okay with that. One more thing I'm gonna do on here is I'm gonna go back to my flat brush. Oh my goodness, that's so cool, Lori. You should put the Casey logo on the tree. <laughs> before I ship it out. <laughs> That'd be cool. So I have my um, Lucas gold here, which is very, very metallic. I don't want to use a lot of it. Creative Inspirations is also a good gold. This is a good gold. There's one that someone showed me. Oh my gosh, there's a black label. Is that, um, that they said is really good too. We haven't gotten that one yet. Um, we we'll have to try it because we love our gold. But I always talk about like not covering all your work or just using it as a little bit of a highlight or a low light when we're using it. So right now, I'm gonna use it as a little bit of a low light, okay? So I'm gonna put some gold here and there. I like to add a little tiny bit of color to the trees. I'm not gonna, well, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put any in the back. I'm just gonna put on the four, you know, the ones in the foreground. Maybe touch some of the areas um, that may be shadowed just a little bit. And you can barely see this. Like, you don't want your eye to draw to this at all. But I do add a tiny bit of this color. And then I also will come back, sometimes I'll come back with a little bit of my um, Van Dyke Brown. And it is the slightest amount. And this again, like you can use that, dry brush it in as a little bit of a shadow here and there. And I do like that on birches also. Um, just a little bit of color, not too much. And then we'll make some branches, which I love to do. Just adding a little bit of shadow. Now, if you feel like you put too much of a shadow in, and you just go and, you know, brighten up your white in some areas. Like here, I might put a little bit more shadow. Okay. So now I'm going to get my script liner brush. Okay. So if you don't have one of these, and it looks weird all tipped back like that. If you don't have one of these, this is a half an inch script liner brush. 
The reason why I like these, and we use them in just about every single painting to highlight or low light or something like that, is they look how flat that they flatten out. So if you need a very thin flat line, and this is old, this one I have here, I've been using forever. This is a Taclon one and it's a half an inch. They come in all different lengths. Um, I tend to not be able to use the, um, the longer ones probably because I've used a half an inch for so many years. And because um, I know Lindsay Lou um, had purchased me one and I, and I tend to like um, hit the canvas with it um, because I'm so used to the length that I use, you know. So since we're on black, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a gray and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight it with snow. Anytime we use this brush, what you want to do is you want to add water to it at least three times because we want this to go on nice and smooth. You want to keep our color so you don't want to water it down too much. Then you're going to roll it off to a point. You do need water quite a bit on this, um, on this uh, board, on this wood, because it does, um, it takes some water. So I'm going to just make, um, my line so I apply a little bit more pressure here I was looking to see if I have my clipboard here I'm gonna go over trees with you guys really quick okay before we do all these let me get a marker I think I only have a pink marker here I've been pitching my markers because they keep drying out on me um there's my paper okay so I have a clipboard here so when you're making trees all right Pull this down a little further. Okay, can you guys see that? When you're making trees, guys, you always have where they're, you know, you have your trunk where they're a little bit wider at the bottom, okay? And then you're going to, let me make sure you can see this, you're going to Y off at some point, okay? Y off. You're going to have your longer branches that go out, that you're going to have all your other branches that come off of them. So you're going to have your bigger ones. It always goes from wider to thinner, okay? I'm going to put this up just a little bit. From wider to thinner, okay? Here's something else. When you're using your script liner, you are going to press a little harder when you're in at your main branch and then you press harder and then you lift off and wiggle. When you press harder, that makes this automatically get wider, okay? And then you're gonna lift off your pressure as you come to the end. This is the other thing that's so important. You wanna make a Y, okay? People tend to want to make, when they're making trees, they wanna make T's. And if you look at um, trees, outside you're going to see this the, the branches don't come off that way so here you're going to press this goes from thicker to thinner okay a lot of that has to do with your pressure so i'm going to go in here press harder harder again i'm going to make a y once you learn these couple of things you are going to do so well in your trees so and you can bring it down and um you know, they can cross over each other. If you have a tremor, like how I get shaky sometimes with my spinal cord injury, um, then it's perfect for this because you want to, you know, wiggle and lift off, okay? Wiggle, lift off, all right? But I always think like thick to thinner, thick to thinner. If you do make a mistake, you can always cover it up with some leaves if you have leaves. If not, every single thing with um, acrylic paints is fixable. You can wipe it off whenever it's, um, whenever it is still wet, or you can wait until it dries and um, you can paint over it. I always try to wipe things off right away. Um, we will be putting a little white on these limbs also, but I'm gonna go a little lighter, okay? And then I'm going to pull off and make my Ys. Now, these limbs, you know, with, the, with birches, a lot of times, um, well, they have ones that spread out a little further, but um, I generally make them a little smaller, okay? So when you're in on the tree, I'm gonna have to get more black. So say I'm gonna start a limb here. You want a base to that, okay? Sometimes you'll have to do that in a little darker to start. And then we're gonna pull and lift off, okay? You can have that droop down if you'd like to. All right, so some you can start like right in there and um, some you can start right from the side. Because we have a black background, that's why we have to, you know, you have to start with a little bit of color, okay? And then I'm gonna make this one come up and off. And then we'll put like little tiny white branches on there. I do, or white spots on there. I do like to put a little bit of darkness here on the inside whenever you, it's a little much. 
whenever you come in. Okay, see how it wipes off? <laughs> And so here's another thing. If you have a little OCD, don't make the branches in the same position the whole way across. <laughs> so you want to try to avoid that as well. Very light touch, a little bit of water. Make sure that you are watering it down. This needs to look like it's going off up here. You're watering down your paint. That's very, very important, okay? I'll put a little weight up there later. Okay, so those will really come together once we add some white to it. I need to put my charger on in a second. Charger. Let's see what I'm going here. I have a lot of plugs over here. Hold on one second. Pull this forward. On my phone way too much today, I think. Okay. Okay, we're back in business. All right, so I'm gonna go here. I am going to, even way, here, way back here, I still wanna do a couple, like I want a couple of limbs coming off here, but I won't make it as prominent whenever I add my white like I do with the other ones, okay? My angle's bad right there. The camera's right in front of here, so it's hard to, um, to make my, my lines going off that way. So I'm gonna have a few here, might start like right on the tree, pull and lift off. Very light touch, but you wanna apply a little bit more pressure to start, okay? I don't wanna go too crazy with these. I don't wanna make it too busy back there. Um, these ones you might not be able to see, you know, too much. I'm gonna catch some light on the side of that tree, maybe catch some light there also. I think I'll catch some light, just a little bit more of a line on some of the trees if you want to catch some light on there. Okay, and then, so um, if you're new, you're just jumping on because I'm not able to watch comments, you can enter to win this painting by putting um, what your favorite Christmas decoration is, right? That's what everybody decided. We're going with that. Stacy, I think it was a great idea. And Lindsay too, because Lindsay had the idea this morning. So so my, I can't make my lines good, like going off to that direction, being left-handed. So I can turn it and I'm gonna show you, like it's a little easier for me to do this. I was trying to keep it upright for you, but I'll make that one a little bit thicker, okay? And then I can come here. I'm gonna need a little bit more water. I'll tell you that already. Put one there. Maybe this one comes out this way. Um, you have one coming off that way. So that's a little helpful to me to like turn that. I'm gonna make a little tiny one down here. Let me wipe that off real quick. Right here. Okay. And then I'll make a few here. And then the fun part about this is, there it is messing up again. Um, is whenever we put a little bit of white on these also, they come out so pretty. So I'm gonna go up here. Okay, so also, if you have a hard time like studying your hand, don't worry, because you can always put the base of your hand onto something. Apply pressure, hold your brush down at the, um, at the base by the metal, and you'll be able to study your hand. We have people that paint with us that have um, Parkinson's, essential tremors, you'll see me shake with my um, my spine stuff sometimes too. Um, you can definitely paint again. So a lot of people can attest to that. Um, so I have that in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some nice thick, we call this chunky white, okay? <laughs> Just have to kind of like roll off the tip a little bit. And what we do is you can like spot these gray marks, just like lightly drag it, okay? And catch some of the, that barkiness on there, okay? It looks a little bit better when you're you're touching like the, these ones that are a little bit darker, okay? Just gonna, they always come out so pretty when you do that, very, very light touch. And touch the end very lightly as well, okay? I think that that always looks so pretty. So I'm gonna go here and touch this one. 
I think that that adds so much to the tree. What do you guys think? Do you like that? I'm loving this black and white. Oh, thanks, Lori. My mom's snowman. She loves snowmen. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. I love snowmen too. My mom loves snowmen. It helps with having a background on the ornaments, but it's a messy job. I take off the hanger, paint them black, then stick a popsicle stick in flower crafts foam to hold them while they dry. Yes, that's what we have that foam too for that. Um, it's a great idea because they are messy. Um, we do the painting ornaments um, in the studio too, and they are messy and hard to hold for sure. So that's such a great idea, uh, Linda, for sure. Okay, so this really makes them pop. But I think that that, you know, these little um, barky, you know, spots really make it um, really stand out. Okay, I can tell I need to flatten out my brush, but it's got to bunch of it on the tip and I like to like just maybe smash it down a little bit and then we will um we'll be able to make a couple you know nicer marks here I'm trying to lean back Lindsay I forgot to put my hair up I'm always getting my hair when I just get out of the shower like in the thing so hopefully it hasn't happened too much this one we're gonna make come off just a little bit there and here so then before we get our snowman what you want to do is look and see like do you need any more brightness um you can always get like a you know round brush too if you wanted to and you could get some chunky white this is just like my flat um like old brush that i love so much i keep these in the studio too um i'll show you it so it's just it's it's a round brush but it's flat on the end we dry brush with these a lot um, I love them. So since you're on a black surface, a lot of times I'll go back and just touch these one more time because it, you know, a lot of times you'll, you know, this will get duller looking. And so I like a lot of contrast. So I would go and maybe put white on this and some areas, um, just one more time. Again, if you have a pattern, this is another way to break it and go back with your white. Okay. Just makes the tree a little bit more three-dimensional, don't you think? So I'm going to go here. See, all these steps are steps everybody can do. Um, I hope you feel that way about all the paintings. I think the next painting that I do, we're going to have people give ideas. So get ready for this. So when I come back on this week, and I think my question is going to be, what paintings would you like to see the most in January and February? Outside of Valentine's, well, you can't say Valentine's Day paintings, which I have one drawn out and turned around right behind here. <laughs> actually, you know what's so funny is I drew around a Valentine's Day painting. Um, it's actually a couple's painting. I forgot I need to get some white up at the top of this one. And um, yesterday, and um, but then I had this, you know, this dream about this other one. So, so the new one was done. Okay. So now they look pretty three dimensional to me. Um, I'm also going to probably put a little bit more like brightness, like right here. And then I'll see if I need anything else once I get my snowman in. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm going to put that so you guys can see it a little bit better. So if you want this, name your favorite ornament. Okay. Or no, <laughs> your favorite, favorite Christmas decoration. Um, I love reading all this. She did show me her bell this morning. Okay, so I'm going to make our belief snowman that we put in everything. It's so funny, the bed tree snowman is his cousin. So if you've done that one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a little bit of dark brown. 
around the edge. Maybe pull in a little bit of my raw sienna, okay? I'm gonna start with a little bit of dark. I'm gonna do one side at a time. I'm gonna wipe his arm out. I can always put his arm in. I don't like to go around stuff if I don't, if I don't have to. So he's gonna be a little bit darker up towards the top. As we come down, I'm gonna wipe off my brush and I'm gonna grab just white, okay? I do have to pull this on the edge again, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna start in the middle I'm gonna work my way over here. Since we're on a drier surface, I might have to might have to go back and forth a couple of times. You're gonna follow the shape of what you're working in. Now under his neck is gonna be a little darker. Like still he's he's a stoneman, he's gonna have a shadow there, okay? And pull this around this way. All right. So we want to fade into like a brighter white in the center, okay? So I'm going to go start with white again and work my way out. So my pressure, wipe off my brush, I don't want too much paint, is going to come off as I come out into this area, okay? And then I'm going to lift off, I'm going to make like this U shape falling, you know, here, okay? Falling around the side. You do have to do a little bit of a dance. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my brown. I'm gonna start here, because you wanna work wet on wet. With the wood, it's pretty dry. Down at the bottom, we want this pretty shadow. So I'm gonna use more of my brown down through here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on his other side. So I'm gonna get my brown, a little bit of my light brown. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of water in it just because of the wood being so dry. And so I'm going to start here. When you're you're putting in a nice line, you want to apply pressure, and then that way it'll stay pretty, you know, straight for you. Okay. So I'm blend this in this way, lifting off, lifting off. We talk about that all the time. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush and my paint towel, get my white, start in here, and then I'm gonna work my way through the brown again. Okay, taking my pressure off. As I get to the brown. We are gonna go back and forth another time just because it's so dry, okay? And then we'll brighten from the center again. Follow your U, okay? You wanna follow the shape. I'm actually gonna use just a little bit of water on my brush right here. I want too much paint there, and then I'm gonna pull this down. I'll probably have to dry brush a little bit of a shadow in there um, in his neck area. I'm gonna come around again. I'm gonna go with my brown. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, there's a chunk sticking out there, I just saw it. Okay, I'm gonna start here again on this edge, all right? Maybe a little bit under the neck. Long strokes lifting off. I'm gonna wipe, wipe off my brush again. I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna start in the middle with some chunky paint. And then I'm gonna to move to my sides, taking off my pressure, okay? Follow the shape. Doesn't go on as smooth as on a canvas though, I can tell you that. Okay, he's supposed to look very rustic. I believe Snowman is rustic. And then down here, I'm gonna grab a little bit of brown again and work my way up, okay? Lifting off my pressure, because I want that shadow underneath here, okay? So I'm okay with that. And then with this head, it's definitely a lot smaller. I wanna see if I can stick with, I can probably stick with this round brush, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna need a little bit of water, okay? My browns. I'm gonna cover the nose. We can put that in again, no problem. A little bit of black, so don't worry about that. I'm just gonna get my brown in first. And then I'm gonna go wet on wet. I'm gonna bring my white in next, okay? Because this is such a small surface, I wanna stick with my with my bigger brush. So I wiped it off of my paint towel. And what I'm going to do, it's a little too much paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up towards the top. Still a little too much paint. I'm gonna lift off as I come down and around. Okay, lift off, lift off. 
follow the shape of his head, okay? Lift off as you come down towards the bottom. Lift off, lift off. I'm gonna go over here, get a little bit of color right here, not a lot, barely touching it, okay? And then I'll come back and I'll brighten from the top again, okay? I'm so glad you are. Thanks, Lynn. Oh, thanks so much, Diane. Oh, thanks, Dana. So I'm gonna get a little bit of white. You guys are so nice. Sorry I haven't leaned over for a few minutes um, to look. So I get caught up in the painting. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit more brightness on the top of his head, okay? As I come down, I'm just dry brushing. I'm taking off the pressure of my brush. Dry brush, dry brush, okay? A little bit of paint, all right? I think one more time. Don't worry about it in this area. I'm going to show you how to like, I do want to bring, whoops. <laughs> I think I'll probably use a smaller brush to get in there. I do want to bring just a little bit more. We're going to put our nose right over that. So let's not worry. I want to get a little bit more brightness right there. And I'll just like, Take my pressure off as I come down. On the back side, you don't want too much, okay? So, around here. And then I'm gonna come back to right here. I wanna make it a little bit brighter towards the center. Take my pressure off as I come out here, okay? I'm gonna do that. And then maybe up here one more time. Put a little bit of paint here. Okay, so I also like to add a little bit more dimension, but I'm gonna get this scruffy round brush, okay? I'm gonna get a little bit of black tiny bit, like tiny, tiny bit. And I'm gonna dry brush a little bit of a shadow in this area, okay? So I'm gonna get a little bit of black back in there, not a lot, a little bit. That's too much, so I'm gonna wipe it off with my finger. Just get a little bit of a shadow back in there. I want a tiny bit of shadow right here too. I'm gonna lift off my pressure so it fades as I go up. So a little shadow there. And guys, always step back and take a look at your painting. See what you like and what you don't like, okay? And get a little bit more darkness in the back of his head there, tiny bit, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my script liner and you can use a small round brush for this but I'm gonna get a little bit of black and I'm gonna put the nose in and I'm going to put the arm in with some watered down black, okay? So I get that. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it black first, make it black first, and then we can build up the color on it, okay? So I'm just going to definitely dry on wood. You can use a little round brush on this if you wanted to also. And so I'm gonna decide if I want, do you guys wanna see like a little cardinal on the tree? Would you like that? So I'll wiggle that a little bit. Okay, so we have that. And then we need to get an arm in here. All right, so my back, my arm, I think that I'm gonna have it like this arm like right here, okay? And then I think I'm gonna have it maybe reaching up. We need a little bit of gray going out there also because it's going on to black. So it kind of has to change colors a little. We'll put some snow on it too, but it's gonna change a little bit right here. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna stick with the black and then I'll put snow on it afterwards, change it up. There you go. Make a little crank there like an elbow. So he's reaching up towards the cardinal 
if you guys want a cardinal. Because you guys are getting it. So <laughs> if you want a cardinal in there. Um, I'm going to make this go down a little bit further. While these are drying, what I'll do is I'll get my round brush and I'll put in some, um, some buttons, okay? So I'm gonna, and let's put an eye in, black, okay? So I'm gonna put like an eye right here. I want them to have a little tiny eye, well, I think that'll be good. And then I'm going to put in some buttons right here, so, which I'll end up putting some gold and some white on. So I'm gonna make them a little bit wonky. And then I'm gonna look at the thing. You guys tell me, I'm gonna look at the computer in a second. You guys tell me if you want a cardinal on here too. Okay. Let me see. Cardinal, please. Okay, a pop of color would look amazing. That's why I think the cardinal will really stand out in here because the nose is going, we're gonna put the color in for the nose. We're gonna have some gold on here. I'm gonna put some gold on the snowman too. Cardinals are everywhere in the stores for Christmas. When I was in Amish country last week, all the stores had them. They are, they're in ours too. We have them everywhere and I love them. Jen, you got it. We'll put a, we'll put in a, a cardinal for sure. The other thing that I didn't do and I want to, I want to do, I'm just gonna paint on my card again. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of this gold with my half inch flat. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. And I do like to touch, cause there's gold throughout like on these trees. So I like to touch this snowman with a little bit of gold too. So I'm gonna put it like a little bit more on the back side, and it looks really nice, okay? Um, so I'm gonna get, this round brush is pretty small. Um, I'll use it though. So I'm going to get my orange. On my first coat of orange, I'm going to put a tiny bit of white in it because with um, the black canvas, um, a black piece of wood, it'll take a long time to build it up, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right inside my black line and I'm going to kind of pull it down, okay? We're going to add snow to this later. We're going to want a little bit darker on the bottom than we do on the top, okay? We've done carrot noses all different ways, like real wonky too. Um, but you wanna leave like a really thin black line around the top, okay? Very thin. This is kind of crazy looking nose. It's a long one. So I'll build this color up on here a couple of times and then, um, and then we'll put snow on it, okay? I'm gonna get a little bit of gold. I'm gonna use the gold, just don't worry about that. I'm gonna use the gold as like the wood accent color on the arms instead of using like a like a light brown or raw sienna. So I'm gonna use the gold on here. So I'm gonna go right, there's a hair on this. I'm gonna go right inside the black, okay? I'm just gonna scuff this a little because we're gonna highlight this was white afterwards. So he's reaching up, there's his hand. Now you can see that a little bit better with the gold on it, okay? And then we'll put um, a little bit of white on it. I'm gonna put some gold on his buttons that are going to get, um, his buttons are going to get some white also, okay? You could also snow this painting, guys as well. So I'm wipe off that brush. I'm going to get my orange one more time. Well, I'll probably do it two more times. We'll see. Well, this is pretty bright on the wood though. So we're going to let this dry while we start our cardinal. We'll get a coat on the cardinal. Okay. Don't make that brightness go on the bottom part. If you do have it too far, you know, round to the bottom, only the first coat goes to the, like, closer to the bottom. Second coat, lift off before you get there so you have a little bit of shadow. Even on something that little, it makes a difference. Um, so I'm thinking, what's the thing? Usually when you're making your trees, you have to think of, like, um, where, where, what branch is the bird going to be on? So I'm thinking I'm going to extend this out just a little further, okay? So like maybe the bottom branch is going to come like out to here, maybe? How's that? And then we can, um, we can make our, our bird on here, okay? So if you want, I can sketch it in first. I'll put my hand in paint over here. 
And so what I usually do is I start with the back of the bird, just a little wet. Make his wing, you know, and then his chest right here, okay? And then what I do for the top is I do like a flicking up motion that then curves that way. And this is so small, everything's pretty impressionistic when you're making a cardinal that little. But I think we'll put that there, okay? We're gonna start with some, I'm gonna start with some red, okay? I'll have to water it down just a little bit. All right, don't just color block this in, make your strokes, okay? Letting this dry, we'll put a little bit of snow on his arms and his buttons, and then he's almost done, and snow on his nose, okay? So make sure you have a very fine, thin brush when you're doing this. You can use your script blender too, um, if you want to. I'm just using this small round. There's black in, in like if you look at a cardinal, there's black like right behind his beak, okay? So I'll be blacking that out. Also, when you put a cardinal eye in, you need to make sure that it's pretty faint and small because of um, he'll look very surprised and he will, you'll be surprised. <laughs> so you can black this out first if you wanted to, but I think I'm okay with the coloring that's underneath here. Um, I can always put a little bit of black into this if I need it but I like to build up the color on the cardinals, okay? We will, I'll have to put a little white back on that branch. Um, the orange for the beak, you might have to build that up a couple of times. And then I'm gonna get some black and show you how I put black like right behind the face. I mean, right behind the beak. So I'm just gonna get black. A lot of times, guys, when I take my brush out of my cup, um, and I get paint. You'll see me, even after I get the paint, I will wipe it off again um, to make sure that the water's out of it, okay? So I'm gonna put my black right behind that beak. Do you see that? And then also, I'm gonna get a little bit of black, like say, like right under this wing. I might put a little bit of darkness in this chest, right? And since I didn't have any black under this, underneath this back here. I'm going to get some in. I'm not worried about that branch. I'll put my um, white right back in over that, okay? So I like to have some black. Usually I would black out the bird first. I thought we had enough darkness under there, okay? And then we'll come back. We'll let that dry and we'll build that up, all right? So what I'm going to do while I'm waiting is I'm going to get my white, all right? Chunky white. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right underneath this black line. Don't go over the black line. You're gonna like drip down. There's a lot of ways you can put snow on, you know, a snowman's nose. But I'm gonna drip that down there, okay? Now here's a question. Do you want snow like in the, like do you want it snowing in the painting? Um, we could do toothbrush snow. You could do, um, like just with the back of your brush snow. So I'll look and see if you guys want snow in here. You don't want it to be too much either, but I do think that some fine snow will probably look really pretty on here. So I'm gonna get a little bit of white here and I'm going to like just accentuate like a little bit at the tip, uh, like top of the gold, but also I'm gonna stay underneath the black line again, all right? So I'm just gonna kind of like skip around. And this really makes your, um, your arm pop a little bit. I'm gonna make that a little bit um, brighter. And then I'm gonna put his little stick hand out to the cardinal. I think that's cute. And then we'll build up the cardinal. Oh, wait, we need to put a little bit of snow like right on the buttons. We can do that. So you see how something can look a little three-dimensional just with like gold and white um, on black. I love how this snowman looks like he's reaching for the cardinal. Thank you. Some glitter, that's what I thought. I'm gonna put glitter instead of snow because I was thinking the same. Susan, we're always thinking the same. Um, I don't think that I'm going to put any like outline around him. I'm going to keep him pretty soft. I might maybe take a little script liner line 
like um, around the top of his head maybe, like up here, and put a little bit of brightness right here. Just a tiny bit, and kind of scuff that in. All right there. Yeah, and maybe, I don't want it, like, I don't want an outline around him for sure, but I just wanted some light to catch just a tiny bit. Sometimes when you have something, you know, the edge is dark going into darkness, you do have to put a little bit, a tiny bit of light in order to be able to see where it ends at. So I'm, I'm okay with that right there. And maybe a little bit here. But really guys, like stand back and take a look at your painting. And, or I never call it finished until I look through my phone. Like I won't, wouldn't call this finished until I look through my phone um, because it gives me another pers perspective on the painting, you know? So you can mix a little bit of orange with the red, a little bit, okay? And then you can also mix a little bit of white with that, but I want more red than orange, okay? And then I can try to flatten out your brush. I'm gonna hold this in place. And so I'm gonna start with the tuft again and I'm gonna flick up and off, okay? As you're coming around the side, you're gonna turn it. It's gonna come down this way, all right? I'm gonna get a little bit more paint. Try not to put my hand in my cinnamon. And I'm gonna follow the arch around here, okay? And so I go, make sure my hair's not in this, um, and brighten this up a couple of times. There's his wing, okay? And then a little less brightness you know, on his chest, and then lift off before you get to that branch that I have red all over <laughs> that I need to fix. I'm gonna get just orange for the beak, and then I'm gonna go through um, the body one more time, okay? So one more time, and then I'll add a little bit more of a highlight to it one more time too, okay? A little bit more white on this time around. We're getting there. Let me flatten that down. I like to get a feel for how much paint I have on my hand. I know it's messy, but it keeps me from um, putting on too much paint, which is my thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. Oh. Mind if I turn this for like one second? I'm gonna turn it this way just so it's more comfortable for me. And so I'm just gonna make, it's a little closer for you to see too, so that's good. I'm gonna pull this. Now on the underside, I'm gonna get less white. I'm just gonna get more red on the underside and I'm just gonna pull this down like that, okay? So I will go one more time, one more time because I'm nice. And even this little tiny bird, I like to build up and make it a little bit brighter. And then up here, I'm gonna go one more time. All right. And then I'm also going to go a little bit more orange just white right here on this beak. Oh, that was a little too much. So I'm gonna go back with just orange without the white. I can't stop smoothing. Sorry, Amy is a giant beak, so I might have to take a little black to that. <laughs> so one other thing that I like to do is I like to get just a tiny bit of white. These are just like little tiny details, but I like to get a little bit of white and just get it like touch it on the front of that tuft just a little bit, okay? Maybe on the edges, get a little bit of, you know, brightness there. You might want to like just touch it on this wing this one wing right here, just a tiny bit. My brush is a little frayed, so I'm gonna have to pull back some red. I'm going back here and just moving that out a little bit, okay? So I do need to wash my brush really good, and I need to cover the branch that has the red all over it. See how that's frayed? Um, so I'm gonna just lightly touch a little bit of white there. See, no harm done there. And then, I mean, beak's not too bad, um, but it's a little big. So I might, I have to get rid of a little bit of it. Here I am still using the frayed brush, but I think I'm just gonna take a little bit off down here. 
a little bit here. I'm better with that, okay? And then maybe, I do like the look on the snowman's face. <laughs> they come down. And so, I know I've lost it by the end of the day. Okay, so with the eye, he really doesn't even need a dot in the eye because um, it's probably gonna be too much. Let me see if I can, really, I am touching it, nothing's coming off. That's a little low, we don't want that. I'm putting a little black over that. It's just a little, oh. Should I change my brush? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna wait. Look at all the things sticking out from that. See if I can, oh my gosh, could this move anymore? Okay, so that's actually good because then I can just paint my black around it. Yeah, when you apply pressure to something as small like this and you're on this middle piece of your easel, then um, you are taking a chance of it moving on you. I don't ever lock anything down myself. There, it's fine. <laughs> I'll show him up close a little bit better. There he is. Okay. So I would, with this, think that I would want to glitter it, I think, like Susan said. So... Instead of using like a heavy thing, so we have glitter spray that is our favorite glitter spray. I'll grab it, but I don't spray it when I'm here in the studio. I take it to my studio in the next room and I spray it and run. So this is my favorite glitter spray right here. I love it so much. We have tons of this in the studio, but since I have you on here and I want you to see it all glittered, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy dandy misting bottle. I'm going to mist it and I'm going to use this diamond glitter and I'm going to pinch it on there. And I think it's going to look gorgeous in the trees okay so I'm going to pour this diamond glitter it's very fine they have chunky diamond glitter and then they have like very fine like this I'm going to use this very fine and what I'm going to do I'm going to pull this back a little bit so I have a little bit of room okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to miss this just lightly miss it okay believe it or not Lindsay and I have paintings like this from like that we've done with this kind of glitter from years ago and the glitter's still on it. It's like not all over the place, which is shocking. Um, so I'm gonna sprinkle this all through like the tree area and probably like the ground a little bit. Tap it off. And look, it's very sparkly. I actually love it. This one's a multicolor. And so you can get ones that are like the, the one that I showed you in the can is um like it's silver and but this is multicolor and i think that it goes very nicely like for christmas and then i just look to see if i have too much anywhere while well, it's still a little bit damp and then but i can spray this for you also whoever's getting it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to sign my little painting with my brush that's falling apart <laughs> i'm going to take a little bit of gold and so remember, so if you're watching the replay later too, write what your favorite Christmas decorations are, okay? And then if you know anybody that likes the paint, you can share this with them. We would love that. I'm going to put my little KC down at the bottom. We have paint pens, a box of every color under the sun of acrylic paint pens in the studio that I give to people to sign their artwork with. Um, but I always just use a because I put the KC, I just always use my brush. So um, let me pour my glitter back in before I knock that over. Oh, thanks, Linda. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Paula. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Jen. So I hope you guys paint this. I'm gonna go back to this one here. Okay, so I hope you guys paint it. I have this cord in front of me now. I can pull this out, but um, here he is. So I hope somebody enjoys them. I'll be like shipping him, shipping him out to you. Um, and uh, we'll have somebody like uh, choose someone each day from these. And if you want the other one, which was this one from last night, <laughs> they're both in there. If you want this one, it's four by four, then um, you can tell us, um, what was it? Let's see, <laughs> I was like forgetting. Uh, favorite thing about Christmas, this one here. Okay, and this one, you enter by putting your favorite Christmas 
decoration, okay? And so we'll have fun all week. We're gonna keep, I'll keep creating stuff and, uh, and painting with you. And so if you wanna know more about us and how to paint with us, there's our website. Um, I forget to put it up often. So you can check that out. There's free tutorials on there too. We put on like four a month. And then we also have um, free techniques right in the center at the top, okay? And um, let me get my glasses back on. I see Linda's writing, but I can't read it. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to paint him on one of my ornaments. It's a great idea. So I believe Snowman will be everywhere, right, Linda? <laughs> I actually think you could paint him on your ornaments. I would also put a, a base of black where you're going to put him. And then I would paint him over um, the black. I think that that work out perfectly. I can move my easel here. If you got on late, guys, this is our new gnome that I painted today. And so he's gonna be coming to you. Um, our HQ members, um, I'll get them for free. And then they get every gnome. I promise from the beginning, they get every single gnome, no matter what. And um, and then we'll put it in the shop also, okay? But here he is from today. And then I'll let you know when I'm coming back on this week. Lindsay will send a text out. Oh, so if you wanna know where we're going live, what Lindsay does is she sends a text out um, to, to this, not to this number, to you. Um, if you text the word live to this number, 724-995-0149, Lindsay will text you when I'm going live. So you'll know when I'm coming on to do things like this, okay? And um, let me see. Tanya, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm so glad you love the gnome. Yay, Pat, oh, I'm so glad you love it. Mine is definitely Bells. Love this so much. I would definitely treasure it. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad you love it, Trish. Thanks so much, Tanya. So nice to see you. So guys, um, we'll pick a winner for this. I'll be coming back on. I have a whole bunch of these. I've bought so many of these. So, and I actually like this. I really do love it. I think it came out really cute. So I think it's a keeper. So I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for jumping on with me. I always have so much fun with you guys. You're awesome. Hi, Pat. Oh, Pat, Pat. How are you? And um, I'll see you again very soon, okay? See you soon, bye.